Good afternoon folks, welcome back to the channel, Keith here from Commando Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, if you can press that subscribe button below, a thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. We're either getting a new fancy microphone for the podcasts and the videos so everything be clearer. I'm going to keep the yellow jersey up until this conflict with Ukraine and Russia is done, but let's talk about the injury news. The injury news is a massive, massive surplus for Celtic. I'm going to give you dates of these two players that are due back for Celtic. First of all, David Turnbull is going to be back playing competitive football in the next two weeks for Celtic. The last time he featured for the Hoops was the Premier Sports Cup final against Hibs. He had he limped off, he had to come off. He was distraught on the sidelines. You know, he was, play, he was playing well. He tested the keeper a couple of times before he got that injury. So, He's going to be back playing in two weeks' time. So look at a couple massive games coming up in the league. Every game is a cup final, as I always keep saying. And then Kyogo, the one that everybody's dying to hear. And dropped a hint to the media last night, the fan media, that Kyogo will be back playing for Celtic at the start of April. So we know that Japan have two crucial qualifiers coming up against Vietnam and Australia at the end of March with the international break. The chance of him being ready for that is touch and go. Itate, Itaguchi and Maeda will play for them. They're they're in contention to start anyway and play for them. Okay, they're going to be around the Japanese squad. It's good it's good encouragement that developing these players in Scottish football and going to Europe is a good thing for the for the Japanese team and for the J League as well, the progress of that league, how it's going. But look at Koyogo, we miss him terrible. You know, I think that's what we were missing the other day up front against Hibs. I know Jack and Marcus didn't play. Jack and Marcus will be ready for tomorrow, folks, against St. Mirren as well, which is fantastic news. Regards to Koyogo, that's what I think we are missing the other day. Look at, there was players out there that weren't willing to put the shift in and they just looked tired and exhausted. And I know I had a bit of a Brittany after the game the other day. And that's what you're going to get. I'm a passionate Celtic fan. If we drop points in a title race, obviously I'm going to give me an opinion. I know people are going to say, well, you, you can't win everything. But if you want to be champions, you got to win everything. And that's the simple, simple way of it. But look, okay, we were blessed Rangers drop points. And even if they did win, it would have been only one point in it. But we just have to go out there, take every team as like the best team in the league we're playing against. And just go out there and play them off the field. You know, if it's St. Mirren or if it's a Hibs or the Rangers, you know, we have to take these 10 games serious. As I said on this channel many times, it's it's great to even imagine that we're literally top of the league. Going, We're actually in March now, top of the league, and we're doing well. We're doing pretty well. So, as I said, one trophy in the bag. We're out of Europe now. Let's focus on winning the league. We have the Scottish Cup now in 12 days' time on the Monday against Dundee. And if we win them, get through to the quarters, we're in Hamden. And then our record in Hamden is unbelievable. And then hopefully, you never know, there could be a treble at the end of this. Jesus, would have been it was going to be some season. It'll probably be the best season of supporting Celtic in the last 10 years. No question about it. So let me know what you think. He's delighted with the Cuyoga news. He's delighted with the David Turnbull news. As I said, get David Turnbull back in there. He'll be in the mix for um, the attack and mid spot with Rodjic, Atate and O'Reilly. It's going to find it hard to get back in, but the more selection, the headache for Ange, the better football will play as well. So speak to us all soon. Take care. God bless. Hell, hell.